G'day guys, this will be my review of the Vipertech CT3 carbon fibre tripod. Those of you that follow the channel will know that I do a huge amount of my shooting off a tripod. I was very interested to try this one as it's a little bit different to most. This tripod was sent to me by Herman Sporting Guns Australia for my impressions and a review. For the YouTube people that may review this video, yes, the rifle is inert. There's no bolt, there's no ammunition, and I'm filming this in a safe location. No, I'm not modifying a firearm in any way. This is basically a big camera tripod that also can hold a rifle or anything else mounted to it for that matter. Maybe you have a huge camera and lens you want a good quality heavy tripod for. Let's run through a few of the basic specifications. 39 millimeter upper leg diameter stepping down to 37, 33, and then 29 millimeter diameter on the fourth extension. Nice and solid indeed. The weight rating is 75 kilos, not many tripods will run that high at all, which is impressive. It's very solid and I have used this tripod with my FX Impact PCP air rifle up to my 308 Winchester Centerfire rifle for pigs. It will extend to a full height of 170 centimetres tall. For reference, I'm 178 centimetres tall and I only use the last extension about six inches out on that bottom leg for the correct height to shoot when the ground's reasonably level. You can also widen the legs, lowering it down to only 20 centimetres high. Basically a bipod and prone level. The overall mass is 2.9 kilos. No, it's not the lightest. Yes, it does add up a little bit if you're carrying it around all night long with a heavy rifle, but it's also not the heaviest tripod that you can use for shooting on the market. So it's all in context. A lot of my work as a professional vertebrate pest controller requires a very steady supported aim. 100% this tripod fits that bill perfectly. This tripod has a very wide footprint when spread out, which is fantastic for a solid shooting platform. It is a slimmer diameter overall when collapsed down for that wide of a stance and all but 40 millimeter legs. The slim diameter can be a catch-22 though when carrying as you can't really hold a single leg. You need to wrap your entire hand around it, which is a little different to what I'm used to with a tripod having a slight center gap. The leg locks to extend and retract are aluminium, which are well machined with a smooth operation on the threads. I'd probably wrap some heat shrink or rubber tape around the upper leg lock, as I have noticed that the aluminium on aluminium can make small noises if you do clack them together when walking or you bump the tripod. You will need an Arca Swiss or Picatinny mount on your rifle to directly mount on this tripod. I run Arca Swiss and have plates on all my rifles now, but if you don't have a direct mounting, there are also a huge range of rifle clamps which you can attach to this tripod. Personally, I like these short 3.3 inch MDT plates as they have a big lead in taper and are easy to locate and slide in when it's dark. Yes, that sounds a bit sus, but deal with it. Rifle clamping in the Arca Swiss is very secure and easily adjusted with a quick throw locking lever on one side. The other side has a traditional threaded knob for adjustment. It is a little unique that the clamp can cater for both a Picatinny and an Arca Swiss interface, which is fantastic and very universal. Not all Arca Swiss or Picatinny rails are the same. The threaded knob adjuster on the opposite side to the throw lever is a great idea so you can change things and adjust on the fly. I did notice a few times that the adjustment knob can vibrate open or closed a little if rattling around on a vehicle for a period of time. Easily sorted with some Loctite to firm it up a little if required. You do need to be mindful of the aluminium and steel locking lever as it can make a small noise when latched if you don't do it gently. It is something to be mindful of if setting up your rifle on a spooky animal like a fox or a dog, close range, pigs, they don't seem to care. This tripod's got a different ball head on it. It's actually inverted, so the ball faces upwards and it's got a single lever that controls all motions. That's pan and tilt. Bloody white cockatoos sitting up there squarking in those trees. You do that while you can, mate. Don't mind me. I'm not trying to make a video or anything. I'm very impressed with the all steel, brass and aluminium construction on the head. It's a very well made and a product which would last you a very long time, unlike similar tripods with a lot of plastic. 
I have become used to the single locking lever on the ball head. It's a little different to get used to compared to the traditional wheel type adjustment on the ball and rotation points that most have. What I like is the lever is very easy to feel in the darkness and ergonomic to adjust the ball tension or lock it down hard. The lever is about two inches long and even I can find that in the dark. On a few pig shoots with animals running all over, I really like the single lever to loosen off the ball head, pivot, then quickly lock it down as I fired. It's very intuitive and it's much simpler to use than a traditional screw in, screw out ball head, especially if you need to adjust that tension on the fly. One thing I did notice is you don't get the vertical range of a regular ball head with a notch. This design is limited as the ball tops out. If you need your rifle to swing up or down to vertical, this won't be possible on the CT3. The carbon fibre is well done with no imperfections that I can detect. The base of the legs has a large rubber ball like foot. You can swap these out for available steel spikes, but that's never anything I've ever felt the need to use on any other tripod. It also comes in a nice storage and carry bag, but again, I don't tend to use those. Comparing this to my cheap Innerel tripod, which came with loose screws everywhere and is now more glue than anything else, this Vipertech is a much higher quality tripod. Compared to other similar tripods with a large weight rating for shooting, this is a very good value with a recommended retail of just under a thousand Aussie dollars. I'm not one to wiggle something around for 20 minutes and do a review. 100% I've dragged this tripod around for a few weeks and I've used it on my contract shooting jobs. Everything from pigeon work right up to feral pigs with the centerfires. I must say for what this thing is and what it does, it has not missed a beat. Thanks to Herman Sporting Guns for sending me this tripod for the review. Guys, you've got a great product. Unfortunately, I can't directly link that website because they also sell bang sticks on there, YouTube reels, all that fun stuff. But if you go onto Google, punch in Herman Sporting Guns Vipertech CT3 tripod, you'll find it straight away. I hope some people find that helpful. If you did like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Ensure you subscribe to the channel with the bell icon on. I'd appreciate it if you'd like to have a look at my Patreon. And I'll see everyone next time. What is it with me every time I get the tripod and the camera out? Bloody birds. They weren't here before. And it's really easy to... You, oh my God, these bloody birds. Squawk, squawk, squawk. Give me a bloody headache. So yeah, you're all right, mate. Don't mind me. I'm not trying to make a video or anything. You just sit up there and squawk for a while you can. You wouldn't believe it, they weren't even here before. I got the camera out, poof, birds everywhere. Bastards of things, piss off. Now they're just flogging me.